In Zimbabwe, people have begun to express concern over the escalation conflict between humans and elephants in the southern African country. Being the largest existing land animal, their close encounter with people could lead to a catastrophe. Just like when a 20-year-old man was killed by an elephant two years ago. As the animals' grown numbers become a concern, some local authorities are calling for the lifting of a ban on every training to allow them to initiate plans to protect the animals from attacking people. Here's more details of that in this report. This is the spot where 22-year-old Stephen Tauzeni encountered an elephant on his way home from a friend's house in July 2020. His brother narrated how the jumbo pierced his torso and dragged his body around, shredding it to pieces. Robert's death is one of many caused by human-wildlife conflict in the northern district of Mbire, which neighbors a national park. Long ago, we never used to see as many elephants as we do now. Climate change-induced droughts and shrinking habitats are forcing elephants to come closer to humans. Dozens of elephants use this corridor, which is literally meters away from people's homesteads, as they go on their regular trek in search of water in the Angwa River. Greater contact has escalated conflict. The government has set up a fund to compensate victims, though no monetary payment can make up for lost lives. Giving us money should be the number two priority. The number one should be preventing the conflicts by keeping the wildlife away from people. That's increasingly difficult to do for authorities who say the elephant population has exceeded the country's carrying capacity. They want a ban on ivory trade lifted so they can sell part of a substantial stockpile to raise funds to manage the jumbos. As a country or as a region, we don't need aid, we need trade. Because the resources are there, we can monetize them, create value, put the money back into conservation. We also want to ensure that communities have a voice. Why is it people who have never seen an elephant in their lives, they are deciding how to share borders with wildlife, how to live with our animals? Yet people in Wangembire, Cholocho, Bulilima, who battle every day with these animals are not given that space. This year, 68 people have been killed and 71 injured by wild animals.